Yes, we have team coverage on this severe winter storm that's hitting our area right now. But first, here's what we know. Evacuation warnings are in effect for parts of El Dorado and Sutter counties. More than 60,000 customers using SMUD or PG&E in the region have lost power. And late last night, multiple schools announced closures. That's including the Sacramento City Unified School District. First, let's talk about the evacuations. People in Wilton ordered to leave again. The Cosumnes River is expected to exceed flood stage, making evacuation routes impassable. There's now an evacuation warning in effect in El Dorado County due to possible flooding. Be prepared to evacuate. This is a warning, but could become an evacuation order. And in Sutter County, an evacuation warning issued to the residents of the commercial mobile home park Lovey's Landing. That's on the river side of the Sacramento River levee. ABC 10's team is tracking what's happening right now. Our Bridget Biorlo is in Midtown with a look at the damage. Mark S. Allen has a look at the conditions further south and the emergency declaration that the governor just made. And Conchetta Callahan joining us in studio with the most up-to-date school closures. All right, but first let's check in with Jordan Tolbert and meteorologist Rob Carmark tracking the storm and its impact on your morning commute. You know, Rob, I know there's a lot of old timers who are watching right now. Mm -hmm. I've only been in this region for 34 years. I, you know, anecdotally, I don't know that I've seen continuous pounding like this in a long, long time. You know, 2017 comes to mind. We had high river levels. We had relentless storms one after the other. That's when the Oroville spillway broke. And we don't have that situation, but as far as consistency for not just storms, but strong storms, yes, it's been a very long time. And by the way, there's more after this. There's lots more after this. So let's just get through today because it's a Monday. People have school or not and work as well. So this is where we are at the moment. Steady, heavy rain for basically everybody. We pulled in a little bit of warm air. So there are some pockets on the east side of the Sierra. It's a little bit warmer. You're getting rain at lake level. You're getting rain in Truckee right now, but give it a couple hours and then the cold air gets pulled in and then it's all snow. By the way, we're looking at grand total by the end of this, by Tuesday night, three to six feet of Sierra snow, three to five inches of valley rain because this is just phase one. We've got another one coming in tomorrow with more heavy rain. The one key thing about today for planning is that this is where we are at the moment, but later on this afternoon between noon and 2 p.m. for many of us, we're gonna move into a dry slot. This is really important for cleanup. This allows the water to come down for a little bit at least. And this gives us several hours of clearing from this afternoon through this evening. And then the next phase comes in with more rain, snow and wind as well. We've got the rest of this morning, I would say the next three to four hours with potential of gusts up to 35, 45 miles per hour, even stronger. So that risk of trees coming down and limbs and power outages is still with us this morning. Temperatures are in the 50s at the moment. And what's important about today is just planning, planning for the big things, hoping that it doesn't happen, but prepared if they do for flooding risk for everybody. By the way, it's not just the big rivers. Creeks and streams are running high. They will continue to rise. Standing water basically everywhere. You have to think about tree safety at any moment. You could lose power, so prepare for that. And just know that we've got more rain on the way. So Jordan, you've been monitoring this for a while this morning and you just keep seeing more and more traffic incidents and problems. What are you seeing right now? Right, so right now a number of new crashes since the last time I spoke to you. Uh, really seeing some roadway ponding, lots of spin outs around our area, really between here, uh, Stockton, Modesto, seeing similar stories there. Uh, people spinning out, people crashing into each other, people slipping and going off the roadway. So just take this into account this morning as you head out the door. It is slippery out there. Uh, lots of people out on the roads as many people return to work today. Uh, lots of people out there on the roadways and lots of uh, incidents. So let's get to it. Around our area, one of the bigger things this morning uh, to know about, especially if you're headed toward Davis this morning from Sacramento, there's flooding at the causeway and this is in those westbound lanes. It's blocking the number three lane. That is the lane that is flooded first. Uh, so take this into account as you're headed to work this morning that you might be down to reduce numbers of lanes because of this flooding. If you're headed on I-80, maybe all the way from Sacramento toward uh, Fairfield, uh, Vacaville, you're definitely going to be hit with some slow moving traffic conditions in those areas. We saw several crashes this morning, uh, not all of them cleared yet, uh, continuing to cause delays this morning. So definitely leave yourself probably around 20 to 30 minutes of extra time today if you're headed maybe toward the Bay Area on I-80. The last thing I want to talk about here this morning, lots of traffic signals that are down this morning, either flashing red or uh, completely black this morning. Northbound uh, 99 and also West Riego Road. That's the place where we're going to see a traffic signal that's not working, but this isn't unique around our area. So treat it like a four-way stop. 
whether it's flashing red or it's completely black out there. So, Walt, uh, definitely important for people to leave themselves some extra time this morning as oh, they head out. Yeah, especially yeah. Uh, today. Jordan, thank you. Uh, we're going to show you all the outages in greater Sacramento right now. SMUD is reporting more than 36,000 customers have no power. The largest pockets of no power are in Florin, Land Park, Carmichael, and Arden. PG&E also seeing thousands of outages at this time. Here's a look at Northern California. You want to keep in mind that those orange squares represent power outages between 500 and nearly 5,000 customers. The hardest hit areas are Davis, West Sacramento, Knights Landing, and areas in San Joaquin County. Restoration time for this anywhere between now and 10 o'clock tonight, but it's all depending on where you live. All right, it seems like this one in West Sacramento. Wow, helping explain why the power is out. Electrical explosions. This is Sacramento Avenue at about midnight Saturday. TikTok user William Begak uh, telling us this explosion lasted for about three minutes. Mm. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo joins us now live from Midtown, an area waking up to more damage. Bridget, it's been an extremely long weekend for the folks living downtown. Virtually wherever you go, you're finding something. You're right, Walt, and I will say since we've been standing out here, the rain has intensified. It's really pounding the Midtown area right now, which creates all these problems in terms of flooding. But the big story, as you noted, is the wind. We saw up to 60 mile per hour wind gusts, and this is the result of it. Branches, tree limbs everywhere. The roots and the branches are so saturated after all the days of rainfall, and this is the result. We saw a giant oak tree fall across the road over here on 23rd Street. It hit a power line, took that out. Now those lines have now been shut off, so it's no longer a live wire. But these trees are causing all sorts of problems. They're falling on cars like you see in the distance here. This car was a victim to a fallen tree, and this is just one of many scenes you're going to see in the Midtown, downtown Sacramento area and the broader Sacramento region. Now, we are not out of the woods just yet. Your morning drive is going to be affected, so keep an eye out for those closed roads. Be prepared for debris in the road. You're going to come across it at one point or another, and of course, be extra vigilant about power lines. If you see any power line, do not go near it. Report it to your utility company because crews right now are working around the clock to not only clear the debris from the roads, but also restore power to the thousands of people who remain without it. At last check, SMUD is reporting about 50,000 people are in the dark, mainly in Carmichael, Arden, and the downtown area where we are standing. We spoke with some customers over the weekend who had their power knocked out. Here's what they're telling us. Power went out about 11.30 last night. It's uh, eye-opening, <laughs> and not only here, but like I said, I've been, I've been all the way downtown, uh, Mac Road, and it's, it's all over. This, this is not just me. Uh, it's, it's happening. We actually moved into the family room because we've got a pretty big tree uh, right over our bedroom. I feel very fortunate that the big trees around my property are fine, uh, and I just feel bad for all the people that their property can't stay the same. SMUD is warning their customers to be prepared for even more outages throughout the day and night as another storm moves in. Right now, they are beefing up their staffing, bringing more crews, material to really address the impacted lines and also make repairs for the mostly uh, concentrated areas that are seeing the most outages and affecting the most people. They're telling you to pack your patients. They're working as fast as they can. And just another reminder to keep your flashlights handy your phones charged and stay clear of any down power lines Bria and Walt yeah that's some really good advice Bridget mm -hmm. and it's just not worth it to travel today if you don't need to right. from the lines the trees and ponding flooding on roads just don't do it thank you not safe all right Bridget thanks and here's some new video into our newsroom it is showing the windy conditions overnight this is North Sacramento off of Jaboom Street uh, at the I-5 area and this is the Comfort Inn you can see, see how much uh, the wind is blowing. Good perspective there with the palm tree. And speaking of on air or online, if you already don't have the ABC 10 app, today's a pretty good time uh, and day to do so. <laughs> Download it. The app is free and will send you alerts on important weather updates for your area. And it does come in handy when the power is out and the TV or the computer is not an option for you.